Hey guys, welcome back to Treadmill Review Guru. My name's Kristen. Today we're gonna to take a look at the Soul F85. So the new 2021 model has some really fun upgrades, including a 10 inch touchscreen with seven preloaded apps that allow you to access YouTube, Netflix, CNN, and some news channels. So you've got some really fun options on this. We're gonna dive in and take a closer look at who this is best suited for, the overall construction, and the functionality. So let's take a look. All right, so let's dive in and take a close look at who we recommend the Soul F85 for. This is a very sturdy machine. Soul builds things that have high construction, they're very durable. It also has a 400 pound max weight capacity, which is significantly heavier than comparable treadmills in this price range. So we recommend this for large, tall users and people who are looking for something that's really solidly built. It also has the new 10 inch touchscreen with some external apps. So we get questions all the time as to whether or not a touchscreen will allow you to access the internet. This one does not allow you to access the web directly, but it does have preloaded YouTube, Netflix, CNN, ESPN, and then ABC News, CBS News, and NBC News. So you got those seven preloaded apps you have to have your own subscription, like to Netflix, for example, to make it work, but they're already on there. And so you can watch videos if you want to, check out ESPN, watch the news. So you do have that. And we really like that. If you're one of those users that wants to be able to do something besides just watch video content training. So it's great for that. And it also folds up. So even though this is very durable, it will fold if you have limited space. So we recommend it to people that need something that folds. We probably don't recommend it if you're looking for extensive video training. So because it has the preloaded apps, you've got a lot of options, but it doesn't have a lot of video content as far as training. There's no running, hiking, outdoor videos that you can watch. It doesn't include strength training, combo classes, things like that. So it does have preloaded workouts, but they're pretty standard. So that's something to be aware of. And it also has a relatively simple console. So aside from the 10 inch touchscreen, that console is a little simple and doesn't have quite as much tech or other things as you might find on like a Nordic track treadmill. The cushioning is also somewhat moderate. So I wouldn't say it has minimal cushioning, but it doesn't have excessive cushioning. So if you're somebody who really, really needs some joint impact support, eh, probably not the best machine. It just has moderate cushioning. So let's dive in and take a closer look at the overall construction. So as I mentioned, the Soul F85 has really impressive construction. It's one thing about the Soul machines that I'm always impressed with. They're durable and they use really quality components. So for example, one thing that most users don't pay attention to is the roller on the belt right back here at the end. And a lot of times we'll see rollers on less expensive machines. They might be 1.9 inches in circumference. Uh, two inches is kind of our recommended standard. On the Nordic Track Incline cleaner, trainers, you've got 2.5 inch rollers. These actually have 2.75 inch rollers. So they're some of the largest rollers that we see. And that makes a difference because the surface area of the roller, the more surface area it has, the easier it is for it to move the belt along smoothly and evenly. It requires less tension. So it's better on your belt and it's actually better on your motor. So that is something that we like and those are right down here at the end. It also has a very thick two-ply belt with nice texture on the top. So once again, maybe something that not everybody's gonna think about, but it will make a difference in the overall durability and the feel underfoot. It has a four horsepower motor, so this is an impressively powerful motor and it's extremely quiet. So I'll demo that for you in a minute, but this is one of the quietest treadmills, both when it's inclining and declining and also just when the motor's moving the bells along. You've got a good walking surface here. It's 22 inches wide by 60 inches long. So pretty standard for a folding treadmill, but it does give you a lot of room. One thing I, I sometimes have an issue with on the sole machines is they do have a little bit of a larger motor hood. So one thing on the sole machines, you would just kind of want to step back a step or two just to make sure that you don't accidentally kind of hit that motor hood with your foot. 
So one minor thing, the side rails are plenty wide. They can get a little slippery. They have just a little bit of a slippery texture and not quite as much grooves and texture that you might find on another machine, but typically it isn't a problem. Another thing that I do like on this, it doesn't decline. It inclines to 15%, doesn't decline. So you don't have that decline option, but it keeps your step up height really low. So the step up height on this machine is only eight inches. It's actually one of the lowest that we see, which is really pretty good because it will incline to 15. So you still get a lot of incline options, but the step up is easy. And then when it's inclined all the way, it only lifts to 13 inches off the floor, which is another thing that it's lower than other treadmills that we see because they start with a higher step up height. So then even if they incline to 15, it will lift you up higher. So this works really well for people that maybe have lower ceilings. If you have like a seven foot ceiling or something, it's just not gonna raise you as high. So that's another thing I like. So the full footprint when it's open, it's 66 inches high right there. It's 36 inches wide and it's 80 inches long. So it's just a little longer than comparable treadmills probably because that motor hood pushes the deck back just a little bit. So you still get the 60 inch length in the deck, but you got a little bit more motor hood there at the top and it does fold. So there's a bar down here at the end, just reach underneath and grab it, lift it up. Once it's up there, it will lock into place. So if pets or children aren't gonna knock it over and then to unlock it, you just pull this lever. You'll notice down here, you can't see, but you've got wheels underneath these support beams and you've also got center wheels. So even though it's a little bit heavier, it's actually one of the easier machines to just roll back and forth. So that's something I really like about it. And then to release, you're just going to drop that lever and it has the hydraulic assist. So you can see that it just drops down nice and even on the floor. It has a 12 mile an hour max speed, which is another pretty standard feature. So you got plenty of speed options. It has a 400 pound weight capacity, so it is very durable and will support larger users. And it weighs about 308 pounds. So, you know, you're getting a lot there for the overall construction as far as how much weight it will support. Assembly on the Soul F85, I would describe as moderate. It's certainly not the most difficult machine to assemble, but it does come with a few more wires and things that you have to put together. So getting pinched wires is something to be aware of on this machine. We recommend that you have two strong adult users to kind of put it together and set aside a few hours. It's not technically difficult, but just getting everything laid out and, and assembled. It does come with all the required tools. However, if you have your own set of Allen wrenches or screwdrivers, that helps as well. Soul covers the F85 with a 10 year warranty on the frame. You also get five years for parts and electronics and two years for labor. All right, so here's your console, just to kind of give you an overview of what it looks like. You can see the touchscreen is very nice and it has good visibility. I also like the placement. It's not too high and it's not too low. It doesn't tilt, so you can't move the angle of the screen up or down, which is one thing, you know, if you've got an overhead light or something, that's something you're gonna have to figure out. But it does have a really nice wide ledge here. So you could put a tablet here if you want or a phone or something else would fit there and it's not gonna block your screen. You also do have a tablet holder up here. It's not quite as wide, but it would hold a tablet that doesn't have too thick of a you know cover on it. And then it has an adjustable clip. You can see you've got your speakers up here at the top. Once again, they are not adjustable. You can't angle them up or down and they have fine volume. So it's not exceptional, but it's not terrible either. And then here's your fan. So the fan does pivot just a touch not really enough to make a huge difference. You got two little fans in there and they provide nice airflow. They're a little high for me. So they would probably hit a taller user a little more in the neck and the chest than they do me. They kind of go over my head. So that's just something to be aware of. And then you've got two storage pockets here on the side, which would hold a phone, a water bottle. You can drop things in really easy. One thing I do like about these pockets, they're a little smaller, but they're deeper. So I can put my water bottle in there and it doesn't rattle around, which is something that I like as well. So let's take a look. First we'll do the touch screen and then we'll do the control console. So you can see this is your main screen when it brings it up. I've registered as a guest. So you have a couple different options. Right here is just your main menu. So we're in, you know, if we wanna choose a program or something. 
If we go here, it's gonna bring up the different program options. So as I mentioned, you've got just some standard pre-done programs, and then you also have fitness tests. So these fitness tests, you got seven of those. They're also pre-loaded on there. And then you've got something called templates. So that is if you wanna design your own workout, you can create it and then adjust the settings, complete it, and then save it. And you can go back and do it again later. So that's a nice option as well. If I come back here to the main menu, I can just jump into a manual workout if I hit that start workout right there, and that will bring it up. Now let's say I wanna access one of those seven preloaded apps. So as I mentioned, you can't load more apps. These come preloaded. So you got Netflix, YouTube, ESPN, C CBS News, uh, NBC News, ABC News, and CNN. So those are preloaded, and you do have to have your own subscription. So it doesn't include a subscription to any of those apps, but I have a Netflix subscription, so I have logged in here, and you can see it'll bring up just your standard Netflix page. And it really has good graphics. Like I feel like this is on par with any tablet that you would use. And then this is what you see as you run. So this is a manual workout and you just kind of got that background. Let's adjust our incline here on the screen and I'll kick that speed up to three miles an hour. Okay, now even as the belt moves, this isn't a video, so the screen will change just a little bit, but not a ton. And you can also change things on the screen. So this is a touch screen. You can see your total distance, calories, time, your heart rate, it will sync with a heart rate monitor and then it gives you your pace. So over here, your current speed is three miles an hour and your max speed is 12 miles an hour. I can use the touch screen right here to increase that speed by a 10th. So it will go 3.4, 3.5, and then back down, okay? The incline, I can do the same. However, it's only gonna jump me by one full metric. So I can go from five to six to seven or back, but it doesn't take me 0.5. You also have the same adjustments right here on the handrail and the same with the speed. So those are your manual buttons on the handrails. And then once you're done, you can just come down here and hit stop and it'll take you out of that program. And then this is your control panel. This is the only thing about the Soul Machine that I find to be just a little bit clunky. So your incline buttons are kind of random. They jump by three. Your speed buttons are a little random. You got two, three, four, five, seven, nine, and 12. Now the only problem with this is let's say I want to go to incline three there's no option to manually do incline four unless I do it here on the handrail or on the touchscreen. And speed is even a little more challenging. So if I'm at three miles an hour and I wanna to get to 3.5 miles an hour, I have to hit that button five times to get it to 3.5, okay? Let's say I want to go to eight miles an hour. So I'm at seven, so I would jump it to seven and then to get to eight, I have to actually hit the speed button 10 times, right? Because you only get those intermediate levels. There's no preset speed button down here and there's no manual button that will jump you a full level. So now I'm at eight miles an hour. Let's say I wanna to go to 10. The fastest way to get there is to go to nine and once again, hit that manual button on the handrail to take you up to 10. So, I'm gonna drop it back down, just so it's not so loud. But this, this is a problem if you are doing interval training, okay? Because you wanna really be able to adjust your speed really fast. If you're doing intervals that are like Tabata intervals, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, this isn't gonna work. It's gonna take you 20 seconds to get to the speed you want to. Um, so for just steady state running, or if you're just doing kind of rolling hills, this works fine. But if you need something that adjusts very quickly, especially with speed, there's some limitations to this console. So that is something. You can see your fan is down here. So that's how you turn your fan on and off. And it only has one setting. It's either on or it's off. Your heart rate sensors are here on either side. The F85 does come with a chest strap that will sync automatically with the machine and it does do heart rate training as one of the programs. And then you just have your start stop buttons and safety key down here. One thing I do really like about the Soul F85 is you have this lower console tray that provides nice storage underneath the console. It's easy to reach and it also adds a little bit of stability by anchoring those uprights in between so that the handlebars don't shift side to side. 
So let me give you an idea of motor noise just as it runs in the background. So we always like to do this with different um, treadmills and we'll just start them without anybody on them, which just kind of gives you an idea of how much noise the motor makes in and of itself. I'm gonna stand down closer so you can hear. It's really, really quiet. <laughs> this is one of the quietest treadmills. So that's going at one mile an hour, um, nice and slow right there. Now there is a little bit of friction noise once your feet get up on that belt and the belt pushes down against the deck, um, but it actually is very quiet. So let me increase that speed. I'm gonna take it up to a nice easy walking speed of about three miles an hour. So you can hear there's just a touch more noise as those rollers move, the belt slides along the top of the deck, and you got just a touch of motor noise in there. I'm gonna hold this three miles an hour and incline. So watch for that cushioning underfoot and listen. The incline motor is so quiet that sometimes I can't even tell if it's inclining. So let's take it up to a level seven. So you can see that lifts nice and smooth. I don't have to hold on to the handrails. So there we go. All right, on this level seven, I'm gonna kick up that pace and run it about six miles an hour. Once again, just kind of listen for the noise, watch that deck move just a little bit. So still pretty quiet. You got a touch of foot noise, but that's kind of it. All right, I'm gonna kick up that speed. Let's try nine miles an hour. So as you can see, you got a lot of speed and power in here and it's very quiet. So I'm still on that seven incline. I'm gonna take it all the way up to a level 15, just so you kind of get an idea of height. All right, so there's your 15% incline. As I mentioned, you're only about 13 inches off the floor, which is really nice, but you do get the advantage of incline training. So you can do any level in between zero and 15. It doesn't do half, so you can't go like 6.5 seven, 7.5, it just jumps a full metric. So level six incline, level seven, level eight. That's how this one works. All right, so one thing we do get questions on is how the machine functions for different size users. So with our new reviews, we're gonna have multiple users hop on here. Um, so you can see how the deck kind of performs when I'm on it. I weigh about 125 pounds. So another reviewer, Matthew, is gonna come get on it. He's 6'5 and about 230 pounds just to give you a comparative idea as to how it look and looks and sounds with different users. All right, so as I mentioned, I'm 5'5 and weigh 125 pounds. Matthew is 6'5 and weighs about 230 pounds. So it just kind of gives you an idea on the range, how, it's, how the treadmill functions with different users. So I've got Matthew right here at a 15% incline. So this is the highest incline it will go. So you can see how high it lifts him up off the ground and the fact that you have really, um, strong deck strength here, lots of durability. The deck can support this weight with no problem. So let's have Matthew kick up his speed to about three miles an hour and we'll hang on to that 15% incline. So there you go, that's your 15% incline with a, a three mile an hour pace. You wanna pick it up? Sure. All right, so we'll go to six miles an hour and hang on to that incline. So there you can see the travel underneath the deck. That's your, that's your cushioning, right? That's how much the deck travels to absorb the impact from each footstep. So you really do have some nice um, cushioning up underneath the top end. 
All right, why don't we have you drop it down to like halfway, six or seven. So he can run while the deck declines and it can support his weight just fine. We're dropping down to a level seven. All right, you wanna pick up your pace just a touch? Sure. What do you wanna do? Nine. Okay, we're gonna do nine miles an hour. Okay, so here we are, level seven incline and nine miles an hour. Very solid. So there are a lot of things that I really like about this new upgraded 2021 model. The fact that it now includes a 10 inch touchscreen is huge because it puts it on par with other treadmills in the same class. And it also adds a feature that we haven't seen on any other treadmill. And that is those seven preloaded programs. So you do have to have your own subscription for those, but it's really nice to have that option if you'd like it. Personally, I find that just kind of adds variability that I can, you know, I can do an intense program if I want to, and I can watch Netflix if I want to. So I really like that. Um, it also is very quiet. So as we demonstrated, you've got an extremely quiet motor, extremely quiet incline. It's very stable and it supports up to 400 pounds. So it's really good for users of all sizes. I love the fact that the eight inch step up height makes it very easy to get on and off. So there's just a lot of features I really like about the F85. The only thing that I'm a little bit hesitant on is the overall design of the console could use a bit of an update. The way the buttons are just kind of random and getting those intermediate levels can be kind of a pain. It's just a little clunky. The cushioning is, is moderate, but I wouldn't describe it as abundant. And it does have just a slightly larger footprint. So even though it folds up, it extends about eight to 10 inches longer than a treadmill with the same walking surface. So just a few things to be aware of. If you'd like to read my full written review with details and pictures, check us out at treadmillreviewguru.com. For current pricing on the 2021 F85, click the link below. And if you liked our video as always, make sure to subscribe and give us a thumbs up. We would love to hear what you think, so comments are welcome. My name's Kristen with Treadmill Review Guru, and we'll see you again soon.